Hello, welcome. You are watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a very short gaming video. Now, I've literally just finished a stream of this and I'll cut the stream short because performance was, let's be honest, it was pretty poor. But what I've done, I was ch just checking out some settings to improve the quality and the performance of what we've got here. Now, I'm going to post this in the description for this video, but basically, what I've done is I've navigated some of the game settings and added a few additional lines. And before I show you how I did that, let me just show you the difference it made. So if you've literally just watched the stream and then you come in to see this and think, what the hell are you doing? This is awful. I mean, it was that bad. I've had somebody unsubscribe just and I was devastated. Anyway, so what we do is to jump back on the uh, broom. We press the shift key and then hold number three. And that's it. We're back on the broom. And then space bar to fly high. And control button to dive. And it's actually playing a hell of a lot better. Shift to boost. Let's see if we can do a loop the loop. Well, we can't do a loop the loop. But it's a hell of a lot smoother anyway. And I can actually see what's going on. But that has actually massively increased performance. I wish I'd have done this before the start of the stream. Because now I feel like just carrying on and just playing. But then you can see little screenshots like this. Which make the game just look absolutely mint so let's have a little bit of a fly around because I really wanted to show people what it's like on the brew in uh, Hogwarts but I feel like I couldn't because the quality wasn't really that good but the trouble is because I've just come back from work and then I've sit down jump on the computer get the live stream going I've not really had a chance to check out any of these new settings. I only like downloaded it last night. So this is the trouble with having a busy life. A young ch Ooh. A young child, bit of a glitch there. A young child and of course a full time job. It kind of makes things a little bit tricky to buy the time to actually fully appreciate some of the stuff that you want to do. But this is a hell of a lot better. I feel like I can fly around and uh, re oh my god there's a little rainbow I can really appreciate what we're actually seeing here Shh. but yeah this is great Hogwarts flyby so Let's just have a little bit of a last fly round over the castle. Oh, there's the uh, Quidditch field. Oh, I'm just going to go around the back. I mean, there are a few other issues really with the mod, but changing this does seem to have massively increased the performance. I've not really done a great deal, but I've just added a few lines to the game's INI files. So we're just finishing having this little fly round. And then I'll go and land over by uh, Hogsmeade train station. And, um, yep, yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'm not going to do, like I say, a really long video. I was just so disappointed with uh, the live stream just now. And then, obviously, realising that the settings just changed the performance of the game massively. I felt it was something that we really needed. To be seen straight away. So let's pop back up to Hogwarts up here. I mean, just look at this. You can really appreciate it now. This is what it plays like on the Steam Deck. This is. 
And yeah, I know I do mention it, the Steam Echo, but it's a fantastic piece of kit, it really is. I mean, look at it, and now, now the rendering's ten times better. So, if you did just watch the streaming, you're a bit disappointed by it. I can understand that, I was disappointed by it too. But sometimes you have to take a chance on these kind of things and um, see what we can put out to hopefully bring new experiences to you guys that you maybe weren't aware of. But anyway, I'm just going to leave this here and I just want to say thank you for watching. You've been watching a very short video by Head from Headset VR. Ah! And um, yeah, this is Hogwarts Legacy in VR using the Lucross. Oh, using the Lucross v real VR mod. Oh, and now we're struggling to land. Um, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm not paying attention, and I'm going to crash land. So yeah, that'll do. Right. So yeah, you've been watching Headset VR, this is um, Hogwarts Legacy, the Lucross Real VR mod. And I just want to say thank you if you've watched this, and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, you'll see every bit of VR related content from Headset VR, and any comments you make do get responded to. But what I'm going to do now, is very quickly show you what I've done to improve the performance. Okay, right, so what I just did is, I've gone into... Local disk, users, user, app data, local, Hogwarts Legacy, saved, config, Windows No Editor. Then I've gone into engine.ini just here. And then what I've done is right at the bottom, I've entered in this phrase just here. Now, I will pop that into the game setting. Well... I will pop that into the description below the video. Now there are also some other lines that you can add there which apparently do improve performance. I'll put those to the test and get back to you. But otherwise, that was what I've done. I've just basically added that, hit the save button, booted the game up in VR like I have done before. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. I hope that does improve your VR performance and improve my VR performance anyway now that I know that I can get a better performance from it so I just want to say thanks for watching take care hit like hit the like button on the video subscribe to the channel you'll see more stuff like this a few other things I've got coming up soon and also if you make any comments they do get responded to in a timely fashion just not offensive ones because I won't respond to those at all so thanks a lot guys take care follow this video first and then uh, save up nicely for a playthrough in VR. Otherwise, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.